Listen to these few quotes. I love them dearly. A.W. Tozer, God is looking for those with whom he can do the impossible. I love this next sentence. What a pity that we plan only the things that we can do by ourselves. George Mueller, faith does not operate in the realm of the possible. There is no glory for God in that which is humanly possible. Faith begins where man's power ends. The great missionary Amy Carmichael to India, when you're facing the impossible, you can count on the God of the impossible. I love this quote from Warren Wiersbe. Our faith is not really tested until God asks us to bear what seems unbearable, to do what seems unreasonable, and to expect what seems impossible. D.L. Moody, if God is your partner, make your plans big and impossible. We say, Brother Gibbs, those are the words of men. Well, listen to these verses. Jeremiah 22, 17, O Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth, and by thy great power stretched out thine arm. There is nothing nothing too hard for thee. Jeremiah 32, 27, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything, he asks, that's too hard for me? Matthew 19, 26, But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Have you ever noticed we stop talking about the impossible? And yet we serve the God of the impossible. All of us at some point in our life have had our backs to the wall and we think, God, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. I don't know which way to turn. What shall I do? We've had our backs to the wall and everything looked rather impossible. It looks impossible for us to be able to get through this without a great deal of pain or hurt. It looks impossible for us to get through this without some real financial problems developing. It looks impossible for us to be healed after what the doctor said. So there are all kinds of situations we come into. The first thing I want you to notice here is this, and that is that Jesus is aware of those circumstances in which we feel it is a seemingly impossible situation. You notice I didn't say an impossible situation, but seemingly impossible. It appears to be impossible. It looks like it's impossible. For example, when you and I hit one of those difficult situations in life, are we our backs to the wall, or we think something looks impossible, what do we say? We say, oh Lord, what am I going to do? Wrong question. Now remember, this is real important, because you're going to get one of these. Lord, what, 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 am I, what in the world am I going to do? How many of us have asked that? Oh, God, what in the world am I going to do? That's not the right question. The right question is, Lord, what are you going to do? Nothing is impossible when the supernatural invasion of God by the Lord Jesus Christ comes into our life and he enters our circumstance to deal with them. If I and I alone have to deal with them, I'm going to have a problem. But if he begins to deal with them, he, if I allow him, if I acknowledge him, if I call upon him into my circumstance, he is going because of his compassion and love to deal with that circumstance no matter what it is. And oftentimes we wonder why things don't happen right. We wonder why, why we can't figure it out. God doesn't want us figuring it out. He wants us to rely upon him, to trust in him, and as, as he says, to call upon him. Not only is he aware of our circumstance, but listen, he always, listen, he always has a plan for our seemingly impossible circumstances. That is, Jesus is never caught off guard. That is, he always knows what he's going to do, and he knows how he's going to do it, and he knows how, where, when, and he knows exactly the resources that are necessary. No matter what you're facing in life, he knows exactly what to do. So I'm, I'm going to stop my calculation. I'm going to start trusting and see what you do. You'll be amazed at what God can turn around in your life. God has the best plan possible for your life. But the only way he can make that plan work is for you to open your hands, surrender your life to him, and give yourself to him absolutely and totally. And that is a matter of pure trust. 
Do you believe that God has the best plan? Absolutely. Are you willing to allow him to demonstrate to you the best plan? Most people aren't. And so what they've done, they have locked themselves into their own puny plan when God has the best. But you must open yourself to him to see what could God do with me? God specializes in things that seem impossible. He knows a thousand ways to make a way for you. But when we let go and let God have his way, his wonderful way in our life, it takes simple childlike faith to place your trust in him and watch what he does in your life.